the world has never faced such enormous scale of humanitarian need and risk. WHO, collectively with our partners, are coming together to address this very challenging landscape to make a global and regional and country level system that's fit for purpose to take on these many challenges. We are undertaking a major reform of our emergency work to make sure that we are more predictable and effective in our response to this challenging range of emergencies. How do we operate addressing an all hazards approach in emergencies? WHO is changing to better its response to an emergencies. The way it's doing it is through the incident management system. The incident management system implies that people deploy for response as a team. The emergency operations search training. People that have already a skill come here to learn what the others do and they get the details on how to uh, run those particular roles, but also will give the opportunity to rehearse producing things as a team and not as an individual. This training is for everybody who works under the incident management system. Whether you're an incident manager, working in planning and information management, working as a health technical expert, in operations support and logistics, management administration, external relations, or partner coordination, each of these functions need to work together for a quick and effective response. The idea here was to establish a cholera task force, then should follow the incident management structure and be led by WHO. It's an integral part of the emergency reform and the health emergency program that has been put in place in WHO. Part of this preparedness and response and recovery cycle is the training. So it's much better to be inclusive with all the team to make sure that all the logistic constraints will be addressed right away in your... The value of actually pulling all together all these various disciplines into one room so that they have a common understanding of not only the approach, but the systems to manage the consequences of emergencies. It'll be something that'll pay big dividends in the long run. And I'll go through a little bit about the deployment activities so you understand that. This yeah. training is designed for everybody that will have a relationship with a health emergency response. And by everybody, I mean the governments that will receive external assistance in the case of a big emergency, WHO staff, but also for NGOs, emergency medical teams, in order that we have a common understanding of the environment so we can articulate in a way that is predictable because we know how each other operates. A training as such, um, where we have a look at all these different functions, is really interesting because we also have not only to look at the uh, specificities per functions, but more particularly how we can interlink them and how we can build on the strength of each and every one of us here. At the end of the training, they are going to test their skills in a simulation exercise that recreates an emergency. They are broken into teams. Each team has an incident manager and it has each one of the, of the other functions of the IMS. And together they have to deliver a number of products that will enable them to work for the rest of the emergency. So we need to step up the request for emergency medical teams. We've gone from about 16% with case fatality down to about 6% last week. The entire simulation, we had some key deliverables that we are supposed to produce and these together we presented to our facilitator so that they can be able to assess and see what was the quality of the document, did it address all the needs that are there in the response. You, this is your staff plan, this is the money you have, you got it, now we need to, to, to deliver. One of the focuses of the training is to prepare teams for deployment and I think that's a really positive step that WHO is making, ensuring that they have a qualified uh, emergency health team ready to go at any moment. This week gave me personally a 360 degree view into WHO's work in emergencies, the before, the after, the during the reform and the work in the field. Et ce que je retiens principalement de cette formation C'est que si sur le terrain nous avons le même objectif et que nous travaillons de façon coordonnée, nous sommes sûrs d'arriver à de bons résultats. At the end of the day, this is about the thousands of people around the world who are in need, whether it be in conflict situations or in outbreaks. 
and the world is looking to WHO to be able to bring international partners, national governments into effective response for those people.